to Friday. Uh, it is mid-morning. I've just taken my mid-morning knitting break and I thought before I get into some pattern writing, I've got two patterns I need to finish this morning. One, I just think I just need to read through it before I send it to my tech editor. And the other one, I need to um, add instruction, written instructions for the charts, I think. So I thought I would just share what was in my advent calendar this morning. So um, I actually opened it as soon as I came into my office this morning, but I didn't film this bit. So yesterday's yarn was that yarn, which I like it, but I don't think it goes with the yarn that was in day one. So um, that yarn. So I wasn't sure yesterday if I were to add it straight afterwards or were to leave it for a few days. My original plan was to add all the yarns as they come, but I didn't have much time to knit yesterday anyway because I was teaching all day. Then I came home and I was home for half an hour and then we went out and I didn't get home till about half past eight. So I just knitted on a bit of um, one of my socks yesterday. So that's all the progress I made on the shawl so far. And I finished the first colour. Love that colour. Um, I'm going to do a new join um, so I don't have all the ends to weave in. Um, so today was this one, as you will have seen from the previous clip. So this is today's colour. So it's green again, but completely different green to yesterday. And this colour I really like, and I think that goes really nicely with what's already on the needles. So I'm going to join this in later today. I was tempted to wait and see what's coming tomorrow and maybe do some stripes. Um, but I'm not going to. I think I'll probably join this in today because I didn't knit on this shawl yesterday. I've written up what I've knitted so far um, because I originally wrote it in a notebook and things can get muddled up. You know, all the cross stuff out and change a few things. So I thought I'd write up what I've done so far. So I did that first thing this morning and printed it out. So um, later on this afternoon when I sit down to do my knitting, um, I can carry on with that shawl and I'll see if I can knit up most of today's colourway today and then we'll see what we what comes tomorrow and what I decide to do after that. But the green lit yarn from yesterday is on hold for the time being. How long you'll be on hold for? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's the 3rd of December um, and now I've got to get on and do a bit of pattern writing. So I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Just been having a knitting break um, after walking Alfie. So my morning routine is I usually work for an hour to about 10 o'clock and then I walk the dog for half an hour and then I um, sit down and knit and watch telly for about half an hour, 45 minutes, which I've just done now. So I've knitted the last few rows, rounds rather, on this sock. So when I come down at lunchtime, I can just cast it off, um, 30 rounds of rib at the top. And then this afternoon I can unpick this waist yarn and knit the heel. Um, I've also, before I did that, I also finished the heel on my first um, West Yorkshire spinner sock. So when I came back from the walk, I did this first. I had a few rounds left to decrease for the heel. I do an afterthought uh, swirly heel, so it's got like a circular shaping. It looks weird when you see it in the sock, but it looks great on. Um, I'll try them on later. So. Um, I've finished the heel on this one. Um, I actually do need to finish the second sock. So second sock is all knitted. I just need to unpick the waist yarn. Um, or rather, no, it doesn't have a waist yarn. <laughs> That's right. So I need to um, cut the yarn and unpick for the heel. Um, and I actually, when I did this one, I filmed it. But the lens of my camera was a bit dirty. So I'm going to redo it. Um, so I'm going to do that after lunch, I think. Um, and just leave that knitting on the table there. There's some flowers from a friend over there which are starting to die, so I need to remove those as well. Um, and now I'm going to go back and do a bit of work. <laughs>
the afternoon now and I'm stopping down to do my knitting and watch a bit of telly before I cook dinner. I've just got to look at this because um, my stitches are all twisted. So working on my sock, um, this is in Yarn Unique, a uh, Zebra sock and um, I've just picked up stitches for the optical heels. So I put a piece of waist yarn in so I've taken that out. And the stitches on this side are all twisted, which is why it's taking me a little bit longer to knit. And I've kind of got to look at them. I'm not very good at knitting stitches when they're twisted without looking. They're sitting the right way. I can knit them without looking. Um, but when they're twisted, for some reason, I feel like I need to look at them. And as you can see, I'm much slower. So those are sitting the right way. And then we've got a few that are twisted again. Um, yes, been a busy day. Got a lot done today. Um, I haven't done much knitting, done a little bit of knitting, um, but I've mainly been focusing on pattern writing, a few admin jobs. Um, I've sent out a newsletter, so if you're a subscriber, you should have received a newsletter today. This morning I had a tutorial go live on YouTube, so do go and look at that. And um, yeah, I'm going to knit for a bit. I don't know whether to finish this sock, because I've only got the heel left to do or whether I'm going to finish this now or whether to um actually pick up my advent shawl I need to wind my advent yarn I have no time to do that yet so I don't quite know what to do whether to wind my advent yarn or whether to knit this sock I might actually just get started on this sock for the first round and then I might knit my advent yarn so you can see now on this side the stitches are not twisted so I can knit without looking at it the whole time uh, I'm just going to pick up a stitch on the side here and then I can turn it around so, looking forward to finishing these socks. These have been on the needles for a while. Can't remember when I stopped them. October maybe or something. They've been on the needles for a while, but I've had several socks on the go. Um, I've recorded a tutorial for unpicking stitches for a an afterfoot heel if you haven't put in waist down. Um, so I just recorded that on my uh, West Yorkshire Spinner sock. Um, and... Um, I'm going to, that's probably going to be out next Friday if I have time to edit the video first. It's going to be a busy week next week. Um, hang on, let me just put this down because I need to count stitches. So, working on this sock, hoping to get this finished tonight. And then I'm also going to try and finish my West Yorkshire Spinner sock tonight. I've only got the heel to do on the second sock on that one as well. So I'm going to try and finish all that tonight. And then tomorrow I can show you a bit of a sock parade because I got three socks that are finished. And now I'm going to wind up my advent yarn um, for today and start knitting on my advent shawl. Um, so when I've got little mini skeins like this to um, unwind, uh, to wind up, wind up? Is that what it calls? Yes, wind up. Um, I don't bother with my swift and my ball winder. I just put it on my knee and then wind it. Probably should get some scissors to cut this because that was quite hard. Let's just get the tie that tie off and let's get some scissors for the second one. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to start winding this yarn up and then carry on knitting on my oven shawl. I'm also going to finish those two socks tonight. So tomorrow I will be able to show you those two socks and another pair of socks that I finished on Wednesday. So I'll show you that on um, tomorrow, on Saturday. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. A bit of a short video today. I haven't really got anything exciting today really to share. But I will be back tomorrow and I'll show you what's in my advent calendar tomorrow. Um, and... The progress I make on this show tonight and then also we'll have a bit of a sock parade tomorrow because I'll have hopefully three finished pairs of socks to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or you would like to tell me what you're doing today. Um, and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing. I've got to concentrate on this because I don't want this to get into a tangle. Um, I know it's a very small skein, but I don't want to get it tangled up. So 
I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.